Oh, seriously? I fail at that. Ugh. That intro is lame. I'm working on a new one. Welcome back to the Harry Potter Book Club. And today, we're going to finish the first book. Well, I'll, I already finished it. Now I'm just going to talk about it. I'm wearing a hat because my hair sucks today. Also, we're not in my room anymore because my parents aren't home, so I can finally just like talk about Harry Potter wherever I want in the house. Hedwig, welcome back. As always, I took notes and they're stupid. So I'm just going to read off my notes. I think I said chapters 15 through the 17th, but I lied. It's chapters 14 through 17. I know I said we were going to finish this book like two weeks ago, but maybe if people actually watched my stuff, I would have more motivation and everything. So yeah, it's all your fault. Let's see. Hagrid gets a dragon, and that's cute because we find out that Hagrid has a thing for parenting on the mommy side. But then, um, ha Harry and Hermione are like, no, Hagrid, you need to get rid of the dragon, which he does because they're supposedly illegal. So they do that. They go and dispose of the dragon on top of the tower one night. Then they get detention and they get like 150 points taken from Gryffindor. And then they go to their detention thing, which is in the forest, the forbidden forest, which is dark and forbidden. There's there's monsters there and everything. Malfoy is there too, because he got detention too, because he's bad. Hagrid was like, there's been a hurt unicorn, oh no. They go looking for the hurt unicorn and all that. Ha Harry runs into an evil, evil monster person who is drinking out of the unicorn in a non-dirty way. And he is like, ah, and so he gets Hagrid, but then... Uh, one of the nice um, half horse, half human people comes over and they're like, Harry Potter, you and the stars and destiny and Harry's all like, yeah. So yeah, that happens. And then they go to Hagrid and they're like, hey Hagrid, how do we get past Fluffy? And then Hagrid is just like, just play music and it goes to sleep. It wasn't like that, but if you want to know how it really was, then you should read the book. After they find out how they can get past Fluffy, of course they have to do it because they're heroes. And once they get there, they find out that someone has already done it. And they're like, no! Play music and Fluffy goes to sleep and then they go through the trap door onto the plant, which is bad because it tries to tangle around them. But then Hermione saves them with her witchcraft powers because, you know, they do wands. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> makes noises. After the plant, there's this room filled with flying keys. And they have to fly over to where the keys are and get the right one. After they get the keys, they have to open the door and they do that. And then they go to a giant chessboard, which is big, and the pieces move by themselves. And they have to play. Um, they win, but Ron sacrifices himself for whatever. And so. Now it's just Harry and Hermione, and they go, and there's like a room with potions. It's like a riddle that I was going to read to you, but now I'm, I'm not going to anymore. Read the book! Hermione's like, oh, this is just logic. Pfft, I'm smart. And so she solves the riddle or whatever, and they go through the potions and all that. Hermione goes back because she has to, and then Harry just is like, oh, I'm just going to go forward by myself. So he does. And then he runs into Professor Quirrell! It was him all along, and we didn't know it. Unless you read the book, of course, which you should. Quirrell is there! No! And the, the funny mirror from before is there. And, and then Quirrell is like, yeah, I'm the evil one. Snape is my little snake. And then he ties Harry up with magical ropes. <laughs> it's sort of kinky, but not because it's Harry Potter. And then he takes off his turban thing, and there's Voldemort, I mean, I mean, you know who, and there's the face, and he talks, and he's like, Harry, I killed your parents, ha ha ha, you know? Harry's like, yeah, whatever, I just want the stone, man. Harry wanted to get stoned. <laughs> Anyways, that's not funny. Anyways, then Harry goes in front of the mirror, and then he sees himself putting the stone in his pocket, and Harry's like, ooh, I got it. And then Quirrell is like, no, you're lying. So he goes over and he chokes Harry. But then when he touches him, he melts or whatever. And then he starts melting. And then Harry's like, oh, look, I'm magical. He can't touch me. So he goes over and touches all over his face. And then Quirrell melts. And then Harry passes out. He wakes up in the hospital. And then Dumbledore's there. We love Dumbledore. And then Dumbledore clarifies more stuff. And then everyone's like, yeah, we're all happy now. And then after that, um, it's the house 
cup feast where they announce who won the house cup and of course Slytherin does because Slytherins do everything right not and but but then Dumbledore awards them surprise points then Gryffindor wins the cup and it's like yay Gryffindor and then the book ends we're starting the second book right away I promise you people who watch this that I will make more videos now if you watch these thumbs this thing up. I feel bad when I'm the only one who does it. And leave me a comment telling me what you think of my teeth or anything. Just just leave me a damn comment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.